what the ladies talking about. What's up, family? In 2015, uncivilized mutt Dylan Roof killed nine innocent black people as they worshiped at a church in Charleston, South Carolina. Now the Supreme Court has rejected his appeal, challenging his death sentence. Damn, skip it. Juice that sucker up. Drop him dead. He don't deserve to live amongst the civilized. That's right. Lawyers for this nothing of a human being had hoped the court would set guidelines on how lower courts should handle questions of mental competency for defendants facing the death penalty. The justices of the court did not comment after denying the appeal. In June 2015, this uncivilized mutt, then 21, sat down at a Bible study group inside the Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. Check out what this ungrateful piece of did. After these people welcomed him into their church home, he sat in the back of the church listening for 45 minutes, and then he opened fire, killing nine people, including the reverend. Now, he had commented to the police that he was trying to ignite a race war and bring segregation back. He thought his one act, this is how loony they are, fam. He thought his one act was going to ignite a race war and bring segregation back. This is how loony they are. No sense whatsoever. He also admitted that he ran a racist website. He ran a racist website and he also was a radicalized white nationalist. You don't say, oh my God, you don't say. That's what they do. They all fit the same kind of profile. They be getting on these websites just trying to find somebody who could sympathize or empathize with them. And there's a lot of them out there, a lot of lost souls, followers. You know, they don't, they feel worthless. They don't fit. They don't, they're not the white supremacists they pretend to be. They're really a white inferiorist. They don't really believe that they're all that special because if they did, they wouldn't risk their lives the way they do and risk their freedom, just throw their whole lives away. They wouldn't do that because they'll go out there and accomplish something meaningful like everybody else does who want to be famous. You know, they just go out there and do something meaningful instead of throwing their life away and, and, and spending the rest of that rotting, rotting in a prison or getting killed. Ain't no honor in that. When you, when you dine, for, for no special reason. You're not dying. You're not sacrificing your life for the greater good of humanity. You're not sacrificing for another human being. You're just doing it out of selfishness because you mad. You mad. That's sucker, man. That's sucker stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we got a lot of suckers out there, so they do stuff, you know? Anyway, uh, y'all remember when he got beat up? Man, that was nice. That was nice. I need to find out who that dude was. Got to look that up. Make sure you put a little something on his books. Uh, yeah. This dude, Dylan Roof, uh, he one of the most despicable people. On I'm surprised ain't nobody took him all the way out yet. I'm very surprised. I'm surprised he's lasted this long. But they got him in that PC. 
And, you know, they're going to protect their own. You know how they do, you know. And keep in mind, the reason, remember, they took him to Burger King to get something to eat after he killed those people. They didn't gun him down. They rolled up there and handed him with, with kids' gloves. You know why? Because he is them and they are him. So now he's begging for his life. They got his ass on death row. And he's begging for his life. He's asking the judge for something that he wouldn't give those innocent people. Mercy. Nah, nah, fam. Come on, take this L, boy. Come on, take it. Say it with me, fam. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.